Pacific Coast Wrestling fans, I am so pleased to announce to you that I'm able to confirm that the half man, half amazing Montel Montavious Porter MVP is coming to Torrance, California. January 9th, release the Kraken. It's official. I am there. Tickets are available at PacificCoastWrestling.com. Get them while they're hot. I'll be facing the Sheik. And that's where the smiling ends. As a matter of fact, it's at this point that I have to evoke the uh, parental guidance clause. Because, well, MVP is coming to Torrance, California. But there's a question about which MVP is coming to Torrance, California. And I'm going to settle that question right now. I agreed to come to Pacific Coast Wrestling to wrestle. I'm a grappler. I love to grapple. I love the art of professional wrestling. It's what I do. And I agreed to sign a contract to Seattle Stupid. And then I discovered that I'm facing the Sheik, former NWA world champion, a man who is absolutely no stranger to horror and happiness. These are the words that I've heard used to describe him, horror and havoc, because he cuts a bloody path of horror and havoc everywhere he goes. The Sheik doesn't like to wrestle. He likes to hurt and maim and cut people. He likes to fight. He's a sick and twisted individual. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've often heard of him. See, we've never met. We've never crossed paths. But it seems like our paths are finally destined to meet. Sheik, you've done your research on me. You know who I am. You've talked about the titles that I've won and the people that I've faced, my WWE success. And I have to tell you that maybe you think because I live in this amazing 7,000 square foot house and because I wear diamond encrusted jewelry, maybe I've gotten soft. Maybe, maybe I don't have a desire to fight like I used to. Maybe you're right. Maybe success has made me soft. Maybe sleeping in a California king-size bed with silk sheets with a couple sexy Southeast Asian honeys laying next to me. Yeah, that makes a man not quite so hungry to get up and go train. But you know what does inspire me? When people threaten me, when people threaten to take this away from me, this that I've worked so hard to gain, to create, to have something, to have somebody talk about they're going to hurt me, maim me for their pleasure, and, and take this all away from me? Well, now you've inspired a different MVP. See, the MVP who loves the flash of the diamond watches and bracelets and chains, that MVP, he's not coming to Torrance. The MVP that likes to grapple and suplex, he's not coming to Torrance. The MVP that made Shinsuke Nakamura tap out He's not coming either. Nor is the MVP that beat Chris Benoit for the United States Championship in a two out of three falls match. He's not coming. The MVP that was set on fire by Kane and came back only to have Kane lay at his feet unconscious. He's not coming. The MVP that smashed the Undertaker over the head with a chair and drew blood from the dead man himself. That MVP. He's not coming. The MVP that's coming to Torrance, California is not an MVP that exists on YouTube. It's not an MVP that you can Google. This MVP, you would have to go to Opelaka. You would have to go to the Ghetto, the hood of Miami, a place that you can't just go and ask questions without a proper ghetto pass. That's where you would have to do your research to find out about the MVP that's coming to see you. The 
MVP that survived nine and a half years in the Florida Department of Corrections. No, not survived, thrived that MVP. The MVP that wasn't afraid to take a piece of steel and shove it into a man's flesh while looking into his eyes to protect me. That MVP, that's the MVP that's coming to see you. So you want to say you're a monster. I've fought monsters. I've seen real monsters. I've slept with the killers. I survived in the cesspool of humanity. You think I'm going to allow you to call me out publicly and talk about what you're going to take from me? No, the superstar, the bling bling superstar, he's not coming. The MVP that was ruled a menace to society. The MVP that some people still wake up in the middle of the night having nightmares. That MVP, that's who's coming to see you, Shaq.